Scott Kilberg, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about melanoma. Melanoma is a pretty serious cancer that affects the skin and basically involves a mutation in which the cells that create your body's pigment, the melanocytes, uh, begin to overgrow. And this cancer, as it develops, will create areas of the skin that look like uh, dark freckles in some instances, and other times they are actually lighter areas of skin in certain cases. Unfortunately, this cancer is actually fairly deadly because once it gets through the body system, it can travel to other organs and cause organ failure as a result of the cancer spreading to uh, those organs. We're seeing a big rise in melanoma, unfortunately, because of multiple different factors, including increased ultraviolet radiation exposure um, through just simply being out in the sun, as well as through uh, the use of tanning beds and other types of uh, situations in which people are exposed to ultraviolet radiation directly onto the skin. Melanoma can form on the foot. Uh, there are many instances in which people have had melanoma diagnosed on their foot and which have unfortunately spread to other parts of the body and the organs and have caused death. Uh, melanoma is a skin lesion that looks sometimes dark, sometimes raised, and in, as I said before, in some instances it can actually be a, a lighter color. Because of the fact that this cancer is particularly dangerous, it is very important that any new moles or dark areas of the skin be investigated. And if there's been any change in any moles that have been present for many, many years, that also needs to be investigated as well. Essentially, when we look at skin lesions and areas of the skin, uh, including the foot, uh, and look for uh, abnormalities in the way that the moles appear, we're looking for a number of different things. One, we're looking for the size of it. Uh, generally, really small moles uh, do not necessarily progress to uh, cancer. However, if they're over six millimeters in size, there's a higher likelihood that those cells could potentially be cancerous. We also look at the general color of the actual mole itself. Uh, if it's uniformly dark, uh, that's one thing. However, if there are areas in which some of it's dark, some of it's light, and it's kind of spotty, that gives us a little bit more suspicion that there's a possibility that, the, that those cells in that mole are cancerous. Uh, we also look at the general border surrounding um, uh, the actual mole itself uh, and if it's a nice smooth sort of circular or oval pattern uh, then we're less concerned. However, if that pattern is, is sort of scallop looking or has a lot of irregularity to it, that also lends us to believe that there's a possibility that there might be uh, more going on than just simply a benign mole. Uh, we also look at the symmetry of the actual lesion itself. Um, the symmetry basically it means that if you were to divide the mole in half, um, each side should be fairly equal, almost like a mirror image, of, mirror image of each other. However, if the mole is sort of short on one side and maybe elongated on the other, uh, or just they look differently if you were to cut it in, uh, in half, uh, then that uh, demonstrates to us that there's a possibility that that mole may, uh, uh, may have some features which we need to investigate. Um, also, any recent growth of, uh, as I said before, of any particular pre-existing mole or skin lesion also would prompt us to want to investigate it to see if there's uh, the potential for it to be any cancer. Now, not to scare anybody, most moles and most you know, dark freckles and areas on the skin uh, are, are typically not going to be cancerous. The vast majority of them aren't. But there are cases in which these moles are cancerous and they need to be removed immediately uh, and further investigation made as to any other potential moles or even uh, if, there's a, if, the, uh, if the mole is deep enough, if the actual tumor has gone deep enough, uh, you have to investigate the lymph system to see if anything has spread uh, from that point in the skin to the internal organs. So sometimes these are cancerous and then they definitely do need to be investigated if there's any features um, to the mole that I just described or if there has been any change. Now, how do we investigate moles to see if there's any uh, cancer in it? Well, it's a very simple procedure called a skin biopsy. And what essentially we do is we numb up the skin and we take a little uh, punch or a little bit of a, a core of skin out of the center of the, uh, of the uh, mole or the lesion. And then we send that to a pathologist who will basically look at that piece underneath the microscope and will look at the cells to see if there's been any cancerous change uh, or cancerous features to that cell. Now, if cancer is found, then that's a fairly serious thing. It has to be addressed right away. Um, there are different types of melanoma. Um, they can include uh, melanoma that goes deep. 
uh, some melanoma that spreads less deeply but more around the sides. As I said before, there is some cases of melanoma that actually don't have any pigment in them. They're actually what we call amelanotic melanoma. And then there are other instances of melanoma that can occur actually not just where the skin is but also in the skin and region surrounding uh, the toenails or the fingernails. Um, this is primarily seen in African American individuals, uh, but it can be a particularly nasty kind of melanoma if not diagnosed uh, in time. Uh, it can create a, a dark brown streak uh, or a black streak that can progress from one end of the nail to the other. Um, and although this is not uncommon in, in people who have darker skin pigment, uh, there are certain times when uh, this particular streak is cancerous and needs to be addressed right away. Um, once the results are, are obtained of, of these uh, skin biopsies um, and uh, the cancer is addressed, uh, then it's just simply a lifetime of monitoring to make sure that there's no uh, further return of, of the skin cancer. Now, if the biopsy comes back as negative, uh, there's nothing necessarily to worry about, but you should always keep an eye on that site uh, where the mole is taken from to see if, uh, if there's any change or any growth uh, or, or change in color or size to that mole itself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more videos on this site as well as others, or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.